Hey everybody, my name is Kristen and I'm the Education Director here at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is a nonprofit sea turtle hospital in South Padre Island, Texas. We have a three-tier mission here to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles for release back out into the wild. We educate the public and we also work towards conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. So I see a bunch of you are hopping on already. Feel free to type into the comments where y'all are tuning in from. We always get really excited to see where everybody is watching our videos from. Um, right now I am standing in our hospital and I am actually outside of Clover and Shelly's tank. We have some veggies here that I'm going to be feeding this afternoon. So I see some people commenting. We have some people from over in Katy, not too far here in Texas. Atlanta I see popping up. We have somebody from Guam. Austin, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. People from Pennsylvania. So while you guys are typing into the comment box there, what we're going to be feeding... Hi Ruby! Ruby has been on a lot of our videos. She's nine years old. She's watching from Florida. We also have more people from Georgia, someone from Toronto, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you guys for hopping on. Far local people. Awesome. Far Texas, that is. <laughs> also Miko, Texas and Switzerland. Cool. So right now I am outside of... Shelly and Clover's tank. Shelly is zipping in and out of this tiny tank here, but I do have some veggies that I'm going to be tossing in their tank right now. Just a cut up zucchini for our patients that we have in our hospital. So let's see if we can't get these two to come over to the edge of their tank. Again, in here we have Shelly and Clover. So Shelly is the one here at the back end. Clover is the one coming up to the front. So we're actually really excited because Clover came into our hospital on May 28th. I'm going to try and get a better view here for you guys. And Clover was entangled in marine debris. So if you guys look really closely at Clover's flippers here right around the base, you're going to see some discoloration that's actually scarring from the marine debris that Clover was tangled in. So I'm going to pan over to our table that we have here in our hospital to give you guys a look as to what Clover was wrapped in out in the Laguna Madre, out in our bay. There was a tangle of ropes, these huge metal rings, as well as this big buoy that's sitting right here on the table. All of this stuff weighs around 19 pounds, and this replica turtle here is here to replicate the size of Clover. Clover is about 10. So if you imagine a turtle dragging around that weight that is twice their size, they're really going to struggle. Um, Clover was really lucky because these big metal rings here, they're pretty heavy, and there is a chance that if that buoy wasn't attached, those rings would have kept Clover underneath the surface of the water, preventing the turtle from coming up to breathe. So luckily there were boaters out in the bay who spotted the turtle struggling, so they came over. They were able to collect the turtle along with everything that Clover was entangled in. Oh, so everybody swam away from me. Let me come back this way. Here's Shelly. Let's see if we can get her to come in this little... Oh, that was a fast U-turn there. <laughs> Give you guys some close-up views of Shelly eating these veggies. Now, we have had so much support from you guys watching our Facebook Lives that we've been doing, and we love doing them for you guys. We know we haven't been able to do a lot of... Um, feedings for the public when we have been open. So one thing that we do want to share while we are on these Facebook Lives is our virtual learning program. Many of you may not be familiar with that, but we have had a virtual learning program here at Sea Turtle Inc. since 2015, and that program is allowing us to connect with people from all over the U.S., including outside the country, um, to help spread the message of what we do here with our turtles, share with them, our patients like you guys are watching right now, along with talk about the life cycle of the sea turtle, impacts of what trash does out in the marine environment. So if you guys are a teacher or you know someone who is, feel free to share this video with them. Um, this is an example of something that we would share on a virtual program. Now, we don't always feed the turtles on them, of course. This is kind of a special occasion for you guys, um, but we do always share our patients. So so if 
schools, teachers, um, groups, it could be Girl Scouts, it could be churches, if they choose to book virtual learning programs with us, those groups do get to see Turtles live, just like you guys are watching right now. Um, and there's lots of information on our website that talks about all the different programs that we offer. So again, if you guys are a teacher or you know someone who is, who might be interested in including our virtual learning programs in the classroom this year, go ahead and share this video or share our website with them so they can learn a little bit more. One thing that we are excited about this year is the fact that we're partnering with a new company, or new to us, I should say. They're not necessarily a new company but it is a company called OutSchool and one thing that we've had issues with the last few years is reaching the homeschool market and we know so many more people are considering homeschool with everything that's going on right now with COVID-19 and OutSchool is an awesome resource they have a lot of different programs on there all kinds of topics that you might be looking for to help educate your students while you guys are at home um, and we just partner with them so we are going to be doing programs for OutSchool as well so those programs are each of these programs that I'm talking about they do have a fee associated with them of course um, but out school is for individuals so if you guys are at home and you need something for your kids to do check out that website each program on there you will notice is listed as a different fee so it just depends on what that topic is and what the educator is charging so feel free to check them out you guys can look up sea turtle Inc on there as well and see all of our current programs that we're offering too and then of course like I said if you guys are teachers feel free to share our virtual learning programs um, as well because we love connecting with classrooms um, it's something that we've been doing for five years now and the kids love it they love seeing the turtles up on the screen right in their classrooms almost like they were here on site so we're really excited for this coming school year and hoping that we're able to connect with a lot more people since more people are comfortable with um, using zoom and different virtual telecommunication types um, things now with everything going on so let's see a uh, question coming in oh um, Jamie is asking is that marshmallows or pineapple those were actually zucchini that I just threw in the tank and then another question was are these programs good for any state yes they are um, so we have them aligned for next generation science standards for all you teachers out there people in Texas they are aligned to teaks um, but they are good for any program um, so if you guys are a teacher feel free to uh, go ahead you can comment on this post if you guys have any questions or you can get onto our website to look at our information it is all located under the learn tab again my name is Kristen and I'm the education director here you guys will find my contact information on our website if you do have any specific questions I'm gonna spin the camera around so you can see our little patients here swimming in the tank once more they have eaten all of their veggies today both of these turtles are doing really well. Um, Clover, like I said, came in on May 28th. Shelly has been with us since May 17th. We're really excited because Clover is doing so well that we are hopeful she is going to be able to get released sometime in the next couple weeks. So we will let you guys know uh, when that is happening. Patients are doing well. Uh, for those of you that were curious that haven't been able to come in and visit with us, we still don't have too many turtles here at our facility, but the ones that we do have are getting excellent care by our rehab department. I see somebody dropped a donation there for us. Thank you guys so much um, for all the support that you have been providing, all the donations and everything. We really appreciate it so much. All of those donations do help fund our facility and go for carrying all of these awesome creatures that you guys see on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this Facebook Live since the turtles are finished eating. If you do have any questions about our patients or even any of our virtual programs that I mentioned, feel free to drop a comment in the comment bar and we will go in and respond to all of those comments that we see. Other than that, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you do wanna learn more about what we do here at Sea Turtle Inc., feel free to hop on over to our website. We've done lots of Facebook 
Facebook Lives on here too, so feel free to check out our other content. I do see somebody asking Danica, I adopted Orion, any update? So I'm gonna give you a warning. I'm having some issues with my phone staying connected to the Wi-Fi, but let me see if I can. I might be able to get over there before my phone drops. So I'm standing outside Orion and Banjo's tank right now. Let me flip the camera around. These are two of our newer patients. And there's little Orion for you. And then we have Banjo right over here. You guys will notice these turtles are not as active as Shelly and Clover. And that is because they are still fairly new. So once they get a little stronger, they will become a lot more active. But if you guys want to know the stories of any of these patients that I've talked about, as well as our other two patients, Shrek and Donkey, feel free to head on over to our website. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.